Hello, Retro Movie fans. My name is Retro Movie Girl, and today I have for you Starstruck, hashtag Starstruck by Soraya Wilson. Hashtag Starstruck is about Zoe and Chase. Zoe is, Zoe is a regular, everyday woman who meets Chase on social media. Chase is a celebrity, a big movie star, and her friend Lexi is the actual fan. But through the social media outlet, they have a conversation about his latest movie, which leads to a conversation about cookies, which leads to a meeting. But later on, he spends time with her family. Her family has grown larger. She used to be an only child, but her mother remarried and had more children. Most notably, there's, there's a little girl named Zia, when she, she spends a lot of time with her siblings babysitting them while her mother's at work and she invites Chase on a on a not date let's just say it's a not date so she invites Chase on a not date while she's watching the kids so in a way they're involved in each other's lives they're not exactly dating she's keeping it a secret from her mother because her mother used to be like semi-famous at one point and would like to be famous again and she knows that if she knows that if her mother cares about the association with Chase, th then she could possibly get famous again and it, it might start her, her bad behavior all over again. But in, in all fairness, it's like when the relationship starts, it's all good, but as the relationship progresses, certain problems come up. Like for example, her boss, she works for um, a ocean charity and her boss suggests that for the fundraiser Chase should host the fundraiser but Zoe wants to keep the relationship private and personal and would prefer not to ask Chase to host the event because Chase is always being asked to do different things different favors for different people and has even been used by his mother to regain fame so that's not a good thing but overall, it is a clean story. There is a few talks about intimacy, but overall, it's a clean story. It contains no sexuality whatsoever. There's a little bit of intimacy, but it, it's not overt. So that is it for my 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 countdown. My countdown placement of Starstruck at number four. Dirty as Hell by Rhonda Carver is a story of Bridger and Jen Cove. Bridger and Jen are on the brink of divorce for several different reasons, but it all took place after one night She's driving home. She's driving to an event. And her husband cannot uh, cannot drive with her because he's at his job as an OBGYN helping a patient. So she drives by herself. She meets into a car accident and miscarries their baby, which leads to resentment, guilt, a bunch of other things. But in the process of this guilt and possible divorce they really still love each other and can keep their hands off one another which leads to an unplanned pregnancy that she did not expect because she had a miscarriage and it was terrible and it really wounded her and she thinks Bridge was having an affair with one of his co-workers so that really wounded her but this is actually their second chance to prove that they can make it they work really hard Jen even moves back in with Bridger and they, they have their little issues, especially the co-worker, but in the end they manage to build something worth saving. So that's why Dirty as Hell comes in at number three. I really like the fact that they're, they're able to keep it together, able to make a deal that is beneficial 
for both parties despite the way they feel and they're able to discuss it even though sometimes it turns into kind of like a blame game and they fight but they're able to work through the mud and get through their relationship issues in order to make it work it's a it's a really good story and every time i hear it it kind of makes me kind of sad but at the same time kind of hopeful because if, if, if they can work on something maybe there is something out there for me too it's, it's kind of like that I, I like it it's a solid story of a couple trying to hold on to what they have despite the problems so it's a really good story and I'll put the cards up here above my head for dirty as hell and hashtag starstruck so you can see what those reviews are like and make sure to give this video a like comment and subscribe and all information is down in the description section and make sure you tell me what you're reading are you reading audiobooks are you reading paperbacks are you reading ebooks are you reading hardbacks what are you reading and in what genre and i'll talk to you in my very next video bye